Hello everybody. So today our class talked about last week and what kind of things happened last week. Well, quite a lot. So this video is revision for how do we use the past tense and the past participle when we're talking about last week because have you realised they're two separate things? The past tense, the way we talk about something that's already happened and the past participle which you'll find out is about the verb. So let's have a quick look. So the past tense of the verb shop is shopped because I've already done it. I shopped at Marks and Spencer's last week. The past participle is about the form of the verb and you will find out when we do a little bit more work about this that the past participle can be used as an adjective or a verb. With the regular verbs you're really looking at adding ed, d or t. So look at that, the past tense the shop is shopped and the past participle is shopped. That was easy, wasn't it? So let's have a look at the verb sleep. The past tense of sleep is slept. Last week I slept in my house and the past participle of sleep is also slept. And that's when you're talking about regular verbs. So you do know, need to know the difference between a regular verb and an irregular verb, because with regular verbs, you usually find the past participle has got that ed sound. So in the past tense, I'm talking about more than one person. I'm going to use were, we were, we were having fun at the park last week. But when I use the past participle, I'm going to say, we have been. We have been enjoying our games in the park. So with irregular verbs, you nearly need to think about what is the past participle and how is that different to the past tense of the verb? Let's say you're talking about your learning. Well, the past tense of begin is began. I began my classes yesterday. But if you were using the past participle, you have to use that auxiliary verb, that little bit of help that comes from saying have or had or has. I've begun my classes already this week. So last week we were talking about the things that we did and we talked about the past tense because the things had already happened. We also looked at what's the difference between talking about something you've already done and understanding the difference between the tense and the past participle. So, we have been sharing information about ourselves. We have been talking about the past and we have been there before learning about the past, but this week we're looking at, do we know the difference between the past tense and the use of the past participle? Well, let's have a look at this. What about the past participle when you've used it as an adjective? So remember, the past tense is about past time. Past tense is past tense. It's not going to change. But when a past participle comes without an auxiliary verb, it's not working as a verb anymore in the sentence. It's usually working as an adjective. So what about that word frightened? I was really frightened yesterday when I watched that new film. 
And what about that word interested? We were talking about how you feel. Oh, I was really interested in the film, but it made me feel frightened. And do you know that past participle often used to talk about our feelings? So let's have a look at what happened to me recently. Recently, in the past, yesterday. Yesterday, I watched a horror film. I find horror films really frightening. The film was terrifying, but also really interesting. I was overwhelmed. And so when we're really putting together a piece of writing, we're looking at mixing our past tense with our past participle because it makes it far more interesting when you're either telling somebody else a story about something that's happened to you or you are writing something. So just before we go, let's have a quick look at talking about the past. We use the past tense and the past participle. And this is how it works. In the present tense, the verb begin is being used when you're starting something. But if you've already started it, it's in the past. You began. I began it yesterday. If you're using this as a past participle, then you need a little bit of help from that auxiliary verb have. Have you done the washing yet? Oh, I've already begun or I have begun it. So what about that verb ask in the present tense, to ask something? Well, if we've already done the asking, then the past tense we've used is asked. I asked you yesterday to do that. And guess what? The past participle is also asked because that's a regular verb. What about if you have an irregular verb like choose? Oh, we say this a lot to our children when we're looking at sweets, don't we? Just choose quickly. Which one would you like to have? If it's in the past and you're talking about choice, then you use the word chose. I chose the best dress in the shop. If you're using a past participle, then you're saying, I have chosen. Quickly, choose your sweets. I've chosen it already. And practice those ideas, because when you're talking about, what about last week or yesterday or a few moments ago, you really need to be interchanging, switching about between your past tense and your past participle. And that's all for today. Bye now.